Today we'll be covering a topic in digital workplace application where the end users are experiencing an error HTTP 404 while accessing a valid DWP URL. I've already set up an environment where this error can be observed as HTTP 404 error. So as part of troubleshooting, we can look few of the steps which I'm gonna demonstrate to you today. First of all, check and validate if your DWP application Tomcat is been running or not. So this is the very first point of view you should check if the application is running or not on the server side. Secondly, you should check the Tomcat logs, what has been going from the logs point of view. So for that, go to Apache, Tomcat, logs folder, and we have a log file called catalina.log. So opening this file, we can see there's a problem for DWP underscore business with some connection problem and it is unable to log in to the system. So for this, we should check from the DB point of view and also in the server configurations. So first of all, we'll check in the DB side. We have been logged to the database and under securities, logins, we have two users defined. So let's check their properties. Here under status, we can see that the user has not been granted and it, the logins are not enabled. So enable both the checkbox and click OK. Similarly to the other user called DWP underscore system. Go to status and enable grant and enable the login. Click OK. Also, we should check a DWP.xml file which has been configured under Tomcat folder. So we'll go to Tomcat, con folder, Catalina, localhost, and we have DWP.xml file. Here we should check the password which has been configured for DWP underscore business and system. So here I can see the passwords were wrong, so I'll correctly configure it and restart my Tomcat. So after making the changes and the restart, let's check by refreshing the page. So as far as troubleshooting point of view, we have checked from the DB side that the logins were not enabled and from the DWP.xml file configured under Tomcat con folders, we have corrected the password of two users. So as we can see the login page is there, let's try to log in with a valid user. And we can see a valid user is able to log in and the page is loading. So as we have restarted the Tomcat, it will take some time for the cache to be built in the backend. So initially the system would be a bit slower. And we can see it's loading and the profile of the valid user can be accessed. And we can see all the services defined for this user can be seen over here. These are some of the troubleshooting steps we can check and validate to fix the problem of HTTP 404. Thank you for your time.